Hey everybody, Max here from Max Playground and welcome to a Sims 2 mod review. This is a mod of knitting in The Sims 2 and it is from Nifty Knitting from The Sims 4. So I'm going to do a little review of it and uh, want to hear what you guys think. If you want to see more Sims 2 content, please do consider subscribing to this channel. Give the video a thumbs up so I'll know what type of content you like and we will get into this. So this is by the creator Tony Vies. I'm probably saying it wrong. Their blog is called Chronicles Strange Russian Gameplay. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna jump in. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go over a little bit, not read too, too much, but I do recommend checking out the, the creators that they have mentioned. And it took this person three years, two to three years to make this mod. So I really highly recommend checking out Midge the Tree, Beck from Affinity Sims, and on Mod the Sims, Jelly Medusa, Lotus, as well as La Petite Morcia if you're looking for um, animation tutorials. So yeah, the set, this is what it includes. These are the items that you use to knit. And then um, your that's a really cool little animation. Your, your cats can play with the... Uh, the, the one like the bag of wool I think that's really funny and super cute um, and then you have um, <clears throat> some of the items that you can make these are mostly all the items as well as some clothes that you can make that's super cute and it says here um, there are still no hats socks and several sweaters in the set including a jumpsuit for toddlers but if they are but if they are converted then in the future I can add them. So make sure to check this, like this Simmers, uh, this blog, uh, you know, often enough for this mod, maybe there'll be updates for it. Just a little FYI. Um, so this is, these are all what you can do when you reach uh, creativity level 10. Um, it unlocks all the items that you can knit, but over time, as you get your creativity skill points up, which you can do with this mod, um, you end up uh, getting more options available to you to knit. So yeah, we're going to jump in the game really quickly and I'll show you guys how this works. All right, so we are in with the oldies and as you guys can see, Coral does not have any creativity skill points right now. Just keep that in mind. But when you want to get the objects, you're going to go to buy mode. You're going to go to hobbies. You're going to go to creativity and then there's these two objects right here. They do have recolors. There's these ones. I like that one the most to be honest. So we're going to keep it with that. There's also recolors for this. So yeah. All right. Now, what we'll do is we'll get Coral to go over and put the item in the inventory. So something which is really neat about this mod is you can knit anywhere. So if you send your sim to, let's say, the bar and they want to start knitting, you can get them to knit on the spot. I'll show you guys how that's functional. So she just puts it in the inventory. You get a notification, knitting, knitting set added to inventory. You go to your inventory, you see that it's there. Then to start knitting, you click on your SIM and a little option should pop up set that says knit. And as I mentioned, Coral doesn't have any creativity skill points. So this is what you can knit without any creativity skill points. Just one thing and you have to pay for it, which I think is really neat. So if we put Coral's creativity skill points up a little bit, we'll go here. This is one that you can have just like in your house. Put in, in or not put in inventory, my bad, <laughs> knit. And then you can have, a, see there's a couple of different things that you can knit, knit cozy knitted mailbox, planters, you can get, uh, knit a rug and then you can knit a little bit of clothing. So you bring up her points to just like about 10. Of 
course, as time goes on, there's different things you're going to be able to knit. Um, so knitting products, you can do decorating, a couple of different things you can decorate. You can decorate, uh, or you mean you can knit a poof, which is like an item you, I believe you could sit down on. Um, you can do your rug, planters, you know, nail a mailbox, children's toys. There's a bunch of different toys you can download or you can um, knit. <laughs> and then different clothing that you can knit as well. So we are going to knit children's toy. We are going to knit Octavian the Octopus. She pays for it and then she just starts. She's kind of just doing it. And she's doing things and this is the animation for it. Now, what I kind of like is it, it does take a little while. It takes a little while to get the item finished. So, you know, you can fast forward and then when you press, you should just stop the animation to stop it. If I can stop. All right. So when you stop, that item will end up in your inventory. So that is the octopus. So one of my complaints is that it's not super high poly but like super detailed like the this you know the item itself but it is really it's really cute i i like it it gets the job done you, you know you can give this as a gift you can have like a store for knitted goods anything really it's just one of those things that you can sell you can even go to buy mode and sell it it's 60 dollars, so you can make you can really easily make money off of this another thing is if you don't want to have to um you know knit everything you can go to the buy mode and you can find the objects yourself for example you can get the rug one of the rugs I think that's super cute. I like that version of it. You can find some of the toys. I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, um, there's a couple of different things that you can do with this mod. I really, really like it. I thought it was really neat. You know, anything that gives my sims more stuff to do and things that they can like make money with and whatnot i just think that's super fun so yeah it also gain makes you gain um crafting like craft hobby enthusiasm so that's pretty neat i just i, I like this mod it i'm just really excited that it's in the sims 2 finally i know that there is one for the sims 3 out there and uh yeah so if you guys did like this, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're going to download this or if you already downloaded it, let me know and let me know what you guys think or if you're excited about this. Let me know in the comments below. Also, um, if there's certain mods that you do want to see, if it's something that I can do or that I'm interested in, I will for sure add it to my list. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you so much if you liked and subscribed to this video and I will be talking to you in my next one. Bye guys!